your core with a few total body exercises utilizing the padded squat stand and toe bar on your total gym. This accessory is so cool because it offers a larger surface area to comfortably place your feet on and work in different angles of the legs. The unique design offers you a two for one product so that you can quickly transform it into the toe bar setting to perform specific exercises that work your entire body. The extra padding makes it comfortable to perform the exercises for your extremities and it's easier on your joints. I've created an excellent sequence of exercises that utilize this accessory and work your entire body in all ranges of motion. So let's go ahead and learn these exercises on your total gym. Place the padded squat stand on your total gym and have your incline at a high level. Come to a supine position, sitting your hips at the very bottom base of your glide board. Carefully position your feet onto your squat stand and you'll begin to add mobile hops. So your knees will swivel to each direction. This is so nice because it not only works your legs in different angles by swiveling through the knees, the hips, and working through your mobility, but it also works through your core. And it's so nice because you're landing on a nice padded surface. Next is single leg lateral hop. Come down to a sideline position, placing the top arm at the bottom base of your glide board. Extend the top leg. As you bend the knee, the leg lifts slightly up to the side to activate your outer thigh. And then you'll jump, bringing it slightly closed. This is such a great exercise, not only for the leg that's jumping, but also for the leg that's lifting to work your outer thigh. And the surface area is nice and large, so that you can really stick the landing. So be sure to do this exercise on both sides. Carefully transition to the toe bar setting by removing the pegs and the squat stand. Then you'll have the toe bar. Lower your incline to a medium level. Now the higher the incline on this, the harder the challenge. So you'll come down to a supine position and carefully place your feet onto the toe bar. Keep your hips at the bottom of your glide board as well. This exercise is called running. So you're going to alternate one heel going down and under the bar. This is so unique and specific to the toe bar because your heel is allowed to go down and underneath through to get a nice stretch and elongation as well as strengthening of the thighs and the back side of the body. Next you'll move into single leg threading as well as bridge kicks. So come down to a supine position, holding onto the bottom of the glide board again and place your heels onto the top of the toe bar. Carefully roll your hips up into a bridge position and extend one leg. You'll bend one knee, bringing the leg on top of the toe bar, and then you'll go underneath. This is so nice and unique because it allows you to go under and over the toe bar where you couldn't do this just with a squat stand. So not only is it nice to lengthen the leg, but you're really activating the back side of the body. Then you can take it into kicks. So as you lift the leg up, you're stretching and elongating the back side of the body, and then you're reaching through the heel as you lower it down. Be sure to do this exercise on both sides. Then you'll move into dips. Sit on your toe bar and face your tower with your feet on your glide board. Have all your fingers together as you place them underneath of your hips onto the padded toe bar. You'll extend the legs out into a chair position, keeping your chest lifted and your shoulders away from your ears. You'll lower your body carefully down and then back up. As you do this, you can add a little bit of motion with the legs. As long as your shoulders stay down away from your ears, you can keep those legs long and let the glide board ride up the rails. Lastly, you can take that into a circling motion as it lifts up and you circle back in. Have a seat down, articulating the spine, lifting up and bringing it back in. Then you can reverse that motion as well. Very challenging. Obviously, the higher the incline, the harder the challenge. But you can see as you have a padded toe bar, it really helps keep cushioning in through your hands. Next is long spine. Face away from your tower and place your hands directly underneath of your shoulders as you extend up into a plank position. You're going to move from the shoulders, keeping your body in that plank at all times. You're just opening and closing. So the higher the incline, the harder the challenge is going to be. So you wanna make sure that you're keeping your body nice and stable. The motion doesn't have to be very big to really challenge your core and your upper body. And the last exercise is up stretch. So lower your knees down to the glide board and keep your hands in the same position with all fingers in the same direction on your toe bar. 
open up through the glide board and lift up through your chest, activating your back muscles. As you do this, you're gonna extend the arms out slightly and then you'll lift with the chest as you bring it in. Open up through the glide board, stretching through your abs and strengthening them as well, and then lower it back in. It's a very subtle movement, but you can really feel the activation of your core, the strengthening through your back, and you can really focus on core control. The padded squat scene accessory is a total game changer when it comes to challenging your body to perform specific exercises on your total gym. Be sure to check out my blog to get the full program details of this workout. So have fun on your total gym and challenge your body to its full potential.